What's going on everybody? Back with another mod tutorial and this time it is the Planes mod. Now I do have to say ahead of time, this takes a lot of stuff to install as you can see. Um, but let's go ahead and jump in here and I'll show you the planes and the um, artillery that this game, that this game, this mod adds. Um, the planes, you can drop bombs from them, you can shoot guns. It's pretty awesome. There's a wide variety of planes. There's even a two-seater plane. So as you can see, I'm up in the air. Now I don't know all the names of the planes, so uh, this one right here is the Mustang. It's like something something Mustang. Here's one of the biplanes. Uh, this is the first plane that they ever made for the planes mod. So you can see the guns on the front of this plane. Some of these planes are actually pretty big. I think this right here is the biggest, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe that one is. And then here is the uh, two-seater biplane. Now if we come over here, go ahead and turn flying off. And just go ahead and hop into this seat. And left click. <laughs> Let me go ahead and change it to third person view. Now you can't really see anything coming out of this one. I don't know if that's just a bug or something, but this one, you can see stuff coming out of it. So if I go ahead and bring over here and shoot, you can see it go out and explode in the air. And you can even attack planes with it. As you saw, that plane just shook. So this is pretty cool. I like this one. So yeah, here's just that's all the planes and the artillery that this mod adds. So let's go ahead and come over this plane and right click it to hop in. I have a huge head, so my head's sticking out the uh, roof. And if we go ahead and hit and hit R while you're in the plane, it should bring up the. Uh, planes inventory and it'll tell you the name of the plane up here so this is the P-51 Mustang so let's go ahead and take our bombs put them in the bombs area and then we will take our um, coal and our bullets and let's go ahead and fly this so to fly it's W to go forward Actually, I'm going to go ahead and turn the sound down. So it's W to go forward, and once you get up to speed enough, you should be able to hold shift to go up. No, space to go up, and shift is to go down. A is to turn left. I'm trying to fly this. Alright. And then D is to go right. S is to slow down slow down too much you will drop out of the sky so the plane controls are pretty easy if we go ahead and hit C it drops a bomb that was pretty cool and to shoot if I'm correct it should be I'm not correct okay so shooting the actual guns on it I do not know how to do unfortunately so if you're looking for that, sorry, but I can't show you. Let's go ahead and drop a bomb on these planes. Missed it. Just barely missed it. Um, yeah, I, I do not know how to shoot the guns. Um, they were saying something about left control, but I'm, I'm not seeing that work when I hit it. Let's go ahead and drop one more bomb on these guys. There we go. Took out one of the artillery. Go ahead and try to land this. Uh, I'm not going to have very much success at all. I can tell you that right now. Okay, nope, we're dropping out of this guy. Yep, we crashed. So as you can see, when you crash, you get all the parts to your plane back. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you how to install this because... Well, not install it, but how to uh, craft everything. 
I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to install this. this that's what the point of this video is. But um, crafting all this takes a long time. I of course use too many items to get it all because I'm not gonna sit here and try to craft everything before I make the video. That would just take too long. So if you're looking for how to craft it, I'm sorry, but you're not gonna find that in this video. So that's the gist of the mod. Very cool mod. I love this mod. And I have only been using it for maybe two hours, just messing around with it. Um, so that's that. That's what the mod is, the planes, the artillery. So I'm going to go ahead and clean out my Minecraft jar. And after I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is either WinRAR or 7-Zip, whichever archiving program you prefer to use. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to go ahead and download Audio Mod, Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP, turbo mod thingy and the planes mod itself so to get all of these right here I'll give you the link to all those in the description so first off for mod loader MP you're just gonna go ahead and scroll down on this link to where it says the mods and just go ahead and click on mod loader MP unofficial then you'll go ahead and come down here and either download from Mediafire or AdCraft. Um, you should probably just do Mediafire. So since we're going to need to come back to this page, go ahead and just right-click Mediafire and do Open Link in New Tab. Um, I know you can do that with pretty much any web browser, so you should be able to do that. And it'll take you here. And Mediafire has actually changed their layout and design a bit, so you can see it shows Modeler uh, MP 1.8.1 .zip and then you can go ahead and click on download and download it, to your, download it to your desktop so after you download that you can go ahead and close this window and we'll be back in the the same page because we're gonna download some other stuff off of here so after you download the uh, modeler MP we're gonna go ahead and come here to this page to download the turbo mod thingy Turbo model thingy, apologize. And just scroll down past all this, and there are a bunch of options to download this. You can just click right here. Um, I'm sure this one takes you to a media fire. This is AdCraft, AdFly, Source, JavaDoc, um, or Direct. I usually prefer to do to do Direct because then you don't have to deal with all these ads and stuff. So after you download the Turbo model thingy we will go ahead and come back to the flans mods page and go ahead and scroll down to the mods again and click on planes mods 1.8.1 and here's the table of contents um, if you want to craft it and all that stuff is all listed right here but we're just gonna go ahead and scroll down past all this stuff here's a bunch of little preview pictures for it and like I told you the crafting just click on show and here's how to craft everything but just keep scrolling down um, here's the controls and then what we need is right here we're gonna go ahead and click on download planes version 16 and that'll take us to an ad craft then you come down here and wait five seconds and then click on download mod and again it'll take you to Mediafire and just click on download when you're ready to download it so now after you've downloaded the modeler MP the turbo model thingy and the planes mod itself we're gonna go ahead and come to this page to download the mod loader and the audio mod um, sorry if I'm sounding very confusing but this is this is a lot of stuff to uh, download and you kinda have to jump around from page to page to get it all so hopefully you are able to follow along and get everything downloaded so now to download mod loader scroll down past all this stuff until you see mod loader beta 1.8.1 and again you can do either adfly or direct I prefer direct um, so after you download mod loader just continue to scroll down until you see mod audio audio mod beta 1.8 and again add fly or direct whichever you prefer so that is how to download everything 
again, I apologize if it's kind of like jumping around and maybe a little bit confusing. But, um, you know, pause the video when you're ready to download something. Download it. When you're done downloading it, come back until you're ready to download the next thing um, would be my best advice for that. So after you have everything downloaded, we're going to come over to start, type in percent app data percent, and go into your roaming. Now your dot Minecraft, then go into your bin, then left click Minecraft, then right click it, and do open with WinRAR, or 7-zip if you're using that. Now you should have your Minecraft jar open, just go ahead and drag that to the side. Now the folder with your bin and all your jar files in it, we're going to go ahead and minimize that because we're going to come back to it later. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up the audio mod highlight all three of these files and drag them into your minecraft jar hit ok now you can go ahead and close audio mod open up mod loader highlight all these class files and drag them into your minecraft jar hit ok go ahead and close mod loader now open up mod loader mp highlight all these class files and drag them into your minecraft jar click ok go ahead and close mod loader mp open up turbo mod thingy turbo model thingy and highlight all these class files once again and drag them in click OK go ahead and close turbo model thingy now open up planes then in planes open up jar files click on GUI hold shift and while holding shift scroll all the way down and click on the UG class and that should highlight all the class files and other files in there and drag all those into your minecraft jar then click OK now in the planes mod go ahead and hit this little gold arrow to go back up so you see the planes folder and the resource files again now come back over to your minecraft jar left click made inf then right click it and do delete files hit yes Make sure you always delete meta inf. If you don't delete that, um, it'll stop Minecraft from working when you have mods installed. So now we can go ahead and close your Minecraft jar because we're done with that. And you should have minimized uh, the folder with your bin and all your Minecraft jars in it. So if you did, bring that back up and hit back. And go ahead and open up resources. And come over here and open up resource files. Now take the folder called mod and simply drag it in. And again, hit this gold arrow to go back so we see the planes mod, the planes folder, and hit back over here. Now simply take the folder called planes and drag it into your .minecraft folder. So now that you have all that, we can go ahead and close everything, and you should have the mod installed. So that is it. And uh, one one last thing I want to say is, as you may see, I do have the American flag as my background right now and that is because today is Veterans Day so happy Veterans Day to you guys and if anybody is watching this right now that is uh, that served for our country or is serving for our country right now I just want to say a uh, big thank you to you thank you for serving our country thank you for risking your life for us just a huge thank you to you uh, I really appreciate it and I'm sure most of our country appreciates it as well so this day is for you guys um, happy Veterans Day Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.